What's up Team Hawk Alice, Jonathan Buckhouse here and it's time for another resort review. This is a video series where we go to a new ski resort, we rip it, we have a sick time snowboarding there and then we come back and we review it. We tell you how sick it is, who is this mountain for? And we also give it a score from zero to 100 out of 10 categories. Each category is ranked zero to 10. Zero is not applicable, they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average and 10 is best in the world. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you who this mountain is for but I'll also give it a, a rank that we can compare to all the other resort reviews that we have done. We've done 20 of these videos and we have so many more to do. And you guys can check out all of those scores on the resort map. I'll get into that a little bit later. And on today's chopping block, we have West Mountain. West Mountain is an East Coast resort located in New York. It has 1,010 vertical feet, 120 skiable acres, and we had an incredible day there. You can check the vlog out here. We did that on our week on the East Trip and it was a really good time. First category, lift prices. Because we gotta know how expensive it is to come right here. And I gave them a five on the prices because it was interesting. It's a sick mountain, but I thought the prices were very expensive on the weekend. They come in at $84 on the weekend and then $56 on the weekday, which is kind of like what I thought. Like if it was just $56, I feel like that's a fair price. $89 on the weekend a little steep but they do have a four hour option and eight hour option they literally have like all types of options for not only your day passes but your season passes so i just gave them a five when it came to lift prices i feel like it's a little expensive but for what you're getting but then it's it's not terrible it's not the most expensive resort we've ever seen so a five Now ease of access, how hard is it to get to this ski resort? And it's honestly, it's pretty easy. It's right off of Highway 87 and it's an hour from Albany. So you can fly in Albany if you want to come fly here and, and rip. So you fly in hour away. It's also located right next to Glen Falls. So I'm sure a lot of those locals just go rip this mountain. So I give them a five on ease of access. It's not a very hard resort. Now lodging, this is one of those special ski resorts where they have zero ski in, ski out lodging. They don't have any lodging, but they do have on their website the ability to book lodging nearby and everything like that. So they kind of help you with that process. So we decided with that, we'll always give them a one. So uh, I know it's a terrible score, but it's because they don't have ski in, ski out lodging or anything like that, but they have an option for you. They have, they're helping you out. So they get a one, you get a one for help. Now lifts, what's the point of a ski resort if it doesn't have any chair lifts? And this one has three, but technically really two. But with the 126 skiable acres, the two slash three chair lifts is really all that you need. One goes a little up the front face, kind of like a bunny hill chair lift. The other one goes all the way to the top. And then you got one kind of on the, like, the right side of the mountain. And overall, like they, they did their job. They got you to the top of the mountain. They're a little on the older side. So I gave them a three for chair lifts, one point for each chair lift. But lifts don't matter if they don't have any runs. And I was actually kind of blown away with how fun the runs were at this resort it felt like there was a lot more to rip and then you could kind of dip into the trees and there's always like a quick little like left turn you could do that just connected to to another main run it was super fun so, so we gave them a five when it came to the runs uh, i would say that definitely surprised me it had a lot of sick like side hits and things like that so the, the runs money But the biggest surprise of them all was the terrain park. We had the sickest day in the terrain park. And it's kind of like at this weird like hook angle, but it, it, no joke, they were able to fit so many quality features in there. Like they put the right rail at the right spot. It flowed so well. They had a little tiny jump, but the little jump was actually built really well. We had a blast there. And so I gave them a four for the park. They crushed it. I think the park was like one of the highlights of the whole East Coast. Like one of the best parks, even though it was one of the smallest parks, it was just built so well. Now food, I didn't eat there. We went into their lodge and, and like checked it out and I didn't record any of it sadly, but uh, it was a very typical uh, resort lodge that you're gonna find at a small resort like this. There have been like hot dogs, hamburgers, you know, French fries, chicken fingers, things like that. So I gave them a five average for the food. And now it's time for employees. Now, a lot of people say do snow quality or, or do a category on snow, but you can't really do that because it's not fair because depending on the time of the year, the snow quality 
hit or miss. Also, we had a sick powder day when we were out there. Like, it's the East Coast. You're not supposed to have powder days, but we got one with a whole week on the East was a powder day. So that's one major reason why we don't do snow quality because I could be showing up in April to ride a resort and then, you know, like it's just not going to score the same. It's not fresh pow. So instead, we do employees because an employee can make or break your day on the mountain. I had the Keystone people destroy a day for us. Uh, Black Coast, my past, everything like that. If you want to watch that video, you can check it out right here. And if you were in my shoes and you came on vacation, you spent all this money and that happened to you, that would ruin your vacation. So that's why we cover employees because you can have an employee go above and beyond absolutely crush it for you or just terrorize you. So uh, we gave them a five for employees. Everyone was super nice, everyone was super average. Uh, no one went above and beyond. No one uh, kind of ruined our day. So it was sick, definitely a five on employees. Now views and scenery, we did kind of show up for like some night riding. We got a little bit of the views, but it wasn't like the sickest. It's, it's the East Coast, the hill is awesome, but everything around it's just kind of like, Two on the views and scenery. Sorry, it's just a small resort. Now before I hit the last category, make sure you guys comment down below if you're one of the locals that rip here. You know all the ins and outs, you know where to get the best food, you know where the best place to stay is. If you ride West Mountain and you have all this information, guys, share it with everyone, because that's the whole point of this video. So comment down below all the good information about this uh, resort. And now let's get into the uh, last category, the would I go back. I think this is one of the most important categories because if I'm not willing to go back, why would I send you guys there? And so on the would I go back factor, I gave them a four. And I, cause I definitely would go back. It was sick, the park was so much fun, but I wouldn't go out of my way to go back. If it was like on the road or if we were driving past it, we wanted to make a stop at a resort, I'd definitely go back, but it wasn't like the, biggest poll. The vibe there was super fun, especially in the park. We met a bunch of the local kids and they were having a good time, which we started having a good time and we were all having a good time. And it was definitely a good time. So on the would, would I go back factor, I give it a four. Now we're about to jump into who is this mountain for, but before we do, don't forget guys, we have the resort map. It's a map of the United States that has every single ski resort. Our goal is to ride every single resort in the US. And when we do, we turn the little icon to green and then you can click on that icon, not only see all the resort review scores, but you can also see all the videos that we have filmed at that ski resort. It's a super incredible map. I highly recommend you guys check out the resort map. Not only is it just fun to play with, but it is actually a pretty awesome tool for planning vacations. Now, who is this mountain for? I would definitely say the locals as well as a family of four or like a family that has like some pretty competent skiers and snowboarders in the family. Like the terrain wasn't hard or difficult, but the better you are at skiing and snowing, the more you can enjoy that terrain. So yeah, like the intermediate family as well as the locals in that area. That's who I really think this mountain for. All right, so we're gonna tally up all the numbers and we're gonna give the West Mountain a score from zero to 100. And the score is a <laughs> smash like button. 39. Now, it's kind of not fair because this death mountain was definitely a really good time. I had a blast there, but 39 is definitely on the lower scale of the resort reviews. I don't think we've had a resort hit 20 yet, but 39 is a little on the lower aspect, but West Mountain is an incredible place. I highly recommend checking out if you get the option, if you live in the area and you're like, hmm, let's check out our ski resort, check out West Mountain. And once again, we have the resort review playlist. If you want to see other East Coast mountains, we've rode 11 ski resorts on the East Coast and this upcoming season, we're about to ride 13 new ski resorts. So I'm really excited. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can watch us travel the whole US and rip all of these. And I say this every video, but it is really expensive to travel the US and ride all these ski resorts and we are going to ride them all. So if you guys want to support this stream, consider snagging some Evolution merch like the Evolution stickers. We got the ski stickers for all the skiers out there as well as the snowboard one or any of the hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, uh, you know, hats, any of our merch, guys. That is how I fund all these trips and we have an employee now. So like things are rolling. So thank you so much for everyone that's not only just watching these videos, but going a little above and beyond and snagging some merch, really making these trips possible. And once again, comment down below, what did you think of the score? 39, too high, too low. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. And we got more resort reviews pumping out because season six is right around the corner. We're about to be ripping all the mountains. But with all that, Team Off Gals, I hope you enjoyed this resort review. And as always, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion. Yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody. No cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs>